tonight we open up the vaults to answer a vital question. Of all the films featuring Frankenstein's daughters, which was the greatest of them all? You see, guys, there have been many Frankenstein flicks since 1910, and many a bride of Frankenstein, but only three Frankenstein films feature an actual female villain. Here's Sandra Knight in Frankenstein's Daughter. Narda Onyx from Jesse James Meets Frankenstein's Daughter. And Rosalba Neri as Lady Frankenstein. Who is the best? The winner takes away an award developed by yours truly, presented by me to the creepiest, cheesiest characters. Hello, Igor Awards. Goodbye, Oscars. Let's start with Frankenstein's Daughters. Ooh, saucy. Yeah, well, that's like any of my dates. Otherwise, what a great slice of 1950s Americana this film has to offer. From the lamppost to the car, right down to the way she says no. Whoa. Check out those eyebrows. I like my women hairy. Speaking of eyebrows, this actress went on to marry Mr. Eyebrows himself, Jack Nicholson. Old Jack has great taste in ladies. We'll call it a night, okay? I mean, we can go back now. We'll see each other again. Mm, I don't know if he liked that suggestion. Look, I want to go home. Well, why'd you meet me on the corner instead of at your house? Well, I'm supposed to be home. Well, you see, there were actually two women in this film that could be described as Frankenstein's daughters, but these were both daughters in the sense that they were creations, the creatures of Frankenstein. They weren't his actual biological daughters. I think I've already over-explained this point. get the brain. I need a brain. So it's her brains he's really after, huh? Well, there's no accounting for taste. Uh-huh. Slowpoke. Well, jump in the old Chevy and you can get her now. Wow, she's kind of a looker. So pretty. <laughs> I love the groveling assistant. <laughs> He's kind of like an Igor in a baseball cap. Come on, what do you have work to do, hurry? Tonight you'll be alive again, you fixin'. <laughs> oh, gloves. Rubber gloves. How scary. Yeah, spooky. Did I say cauliflower? No, got that wrong. I meant parsley. That's right. Yeah, parsley with a touch of turnip. Uh, ominous. Don't you just love the little space captain's uniform the creature has somehow sewn for itself while it was lying inanimate? Ah, and the walk. Looks like somebody from the cast of Thriller. There he goes, rubber gloves and all. Ah, yes, manhandle the curtain. That'll do it. There it is, rip the door, and then hands up. That's right. Remember Frankenstein's daughter's brains in there somewhere? You'd think she'd have more fashion sense. How simply divine, my little perverted film fans. Now it's time to celebrate some real Frankenstein femme fatales. 
The film was Jesse James meets Frankenstein's daughter, and the actress was Estonian-born Narda Onyx, and what a life she had. As a child at the end of World War II, Narda escaped with her family through Soviet lines, making their way to America. And Narda became an American actress, turning up in popular American TV shows. But her greatest role was as Lady Maria Frankenstein. It was not I, it was Professor von Metzler who said in southwest part of America, you'll find these electrical storms you need for your experiment. Modest Rudolf, you never do take any credit for what you do. I want no credit for these terrible things we are doing here, Maria. All I want is to go back to Vienna. Mm, Vienna. We will not see an electrical storm there in months. But here, the very gods conspire to give them to us all the time. Yeah, good Austrian work ethic happening there. And then they go back to the lab to see what's on the slab. <laughs> now, oh, look at that hat. It's like a supersized day-glow condom. Here, the lovely Maria, who is actually Dr. Frankenstein's granddaughter, proves she's no slouch when it comes to all this science stuff. I've allowed the duothermic impulsator to be attached only to the body. Let's see what grandfather's notation says. You see? The duothermic impulsator must also be attached to a living brain to transmit living by... Ah, you need a brain too! But such a powerful electric impulse might prove fatal to the brain of a living person. That chance I am willing to take. <laughs> now there's the rub. She's willing to kill for this. To use the brains of children that we've failed. What we need is a man. A powerful man. A giant. Then we shall succeed. But what, what good will it do to succeed? Imagine. We'll have someone to do our bidding who can't be put to death. Just as we have to given it life, only we can take its life away. <laughs> A little like God. We've already caused the death of three children. What? And violated the graves of others just to make the experiments. My, you're a humanitarian. You should have stayed in Europe and given pink pills to sweet old ladies. Wow. What a woman. Narda Onyx. Later in the movie, she meets a legendary Wild West outlaw, Jesse James, and does her best to seduce him. She also has competition for Jesse's love from a Mexican firecracker named Juanita. I don't know why. If you ask me, the actor playing Jesse James had all the charisma of a set of traffic lights stuck on orange. Anyway, let's take a look. I want you to stay. I'm sorry. I made a promise that we'd leave as soon as Hank was well enough to travel. Stay here. We need you. I need you. I'm on the verge of a great experiment. And I know I will succeed this time. I will build an empire here. I want you to share in everything. My experiments. My experiments? Huh? <laughs> what a romantic. How can I help you? Yeah, what kind of experiments? I need you. I need your strength. Mm -hmm. We leave as soon as Hank is well enough to travel. Yeah, I've got people to shoot. I'm sorry I made a fool of myself. Good night, Mr. Howard. If that is your real name. You know the saying, hell hath no fury like a woman scorned? As you can imagine, the Countess is now out for revenge, right? But a woman like Maria Frankenstein doesn't just go on a shopping spree using Jesse James' stolen credit card. Uh-uh. She goes a little bit further than that, performing a lobotomy on his pal Hank and changing his name to Igor. Igor! Now I'll just slip on this psychedelic bicycle helmet. Ah, well, here comes the hot mamacita Juanita. The actress was Estileta Rodriguez, who died in mysterious circumstances in the same year this film was released. Seriously, that's sad but true. Although I guess her filmography would be more refined if she'd have died before making this film. Ooh. 
Don't do it, Maria. You are going too far. No one should tamper with the laws of God. Or to put it another way, fumbling around in other people's skull cavity with a ton of unfortunate ramifications. Wow, some of these props look like they belong on a game show. You are no longer Hank Tracy. You are evil. Do you understand? Evil. That is how you will be known. I am Maria Frankenstein. As I think, you will think. We are one. No, but I, I can't hear you. Maria, I'm sorry. Just the, the the buzzing machine is going on a little bit too loud, and you're scaring the the living dookie out of old Mamacita over there. Igor, are you getting all this? Are you are you writing all this down? You are now Igor. Uh huh. Yeah, you've said that. I command you to arrive. Ah, okay. So. A good Igor always does what Igor is told. Well, almost always, I think. I'm just going to have a bit of a lie down. Do you mind? Well, I don't want to spoil the surprise, but Igor, formerly Hank, lives. And his old partner, Jesse James, comes a-looking for him. <laughs> I think I'll chill out. I'll tell you what, this movie would have done a lot better had they spent more time on Estelita. We'll have more Daughters of Frankenstein after the break. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. Lobotomizing big, strong hunks to create the perfect man. It's what I do every afternoon from four to six. Anyway, what's at stake here is a prestigious Igor Award for the best daughter of Frankenstein. I know, it's such a great category. The film is Jesse James meets Frankenstein's daughter, which was directed by William Bodine. By the way, Mr. Bodine was also known as One Shot because he never made a second take. But it was Rudolph. He forced me to write that note. I want to see Hank right now. Well, Hank, Hank is not here. He and Rudolph left together. I don't believe it. I swear it. All right, if you won't tell me where he is, I'll find him. Why do you treat me like this? When you know how I feel about you? Right, I'll shake the truth out of you! Igor! Right, then I'll choke it out of you! Once and for all, what did you do to Hank? I want to know! Well, nothing much. Just gave him a lobotomy and changed his name to Igor. Put him on the table. Wait a minute, it seems like Igor's getting some second thoughts here. Buddy? My buddy? Igor! Go to your room. Uh huh. I see the plot thickens. Igor, upon realization that his buddy Jesse James is in desperate trouble. Ah, go to your room, Igor, you big dumb cop. I love Narda Onyx. And we'll see more of her in Midnight Movies. But the Igor Award for Best Frankenstein's Daughter could still go to the outrageously hot Midnight Movie star Rizal Benary. Looks 
looks like Dustin Hoffman's Corpus Feo. scene from The Graduate. <sighs> Sit down, Thomas. Mm -hmm. Sit down. That's it. Oh, I just love Italian films. Is this what I think it is? Are those... Wait, what I think they are. And later in the film, we get to see more of Rosalba Neri as Lady Frankenstein. Much, much more, in fact. Whoa. <laughs> in other words, yes. As with practically all her other great screen roles, Rosalba Neri gets undressed as Lady Frankenstein, too. Strictly in the service of character and plot, of course. Anyway, let's get back to Lady Frankenstein, the bit where she discovers her father has been killed by the very same monster he created. Here she is, upstairs at Frankenstein Castle, filming a commercial for fabric softener in her sleep. But then she decides to open a passage she's been told never to touch. Another step. Over the years, all the Frankenstein's monsters got uglier and uglier. I just don't think that eye works. Oh dear, such ungrateful creatures. These children of forbidden experiments. You do everything for them, including getting them a brand new brain, bringing them to life. Then one day, they crush you to death. Usually on their birthday, probably because they don't like their presence. But actually because they don't like you. Father. Now let's see the performance that makes Rosalba Neri truly an Igor Award-worthy actress. Tanya. Tanya. Is this suddenly a Russian film? I'm right now, Charles. I've got to get to police. Yeah, somebody's dead. I guess I'll be leaving now. Not yet. Tanya, I must. Do you want to disgrace my father? Your father's dead and you're worried about his name? You cannot keep this from the police. Not his death. Only the creature. That's impossible. What if it kills again? What did you do with the other corpses? Oh yeah, that's right, the other corpses. Put Morgan in it. Then you can go to Harry. Please, Charles. I don't know, Tanya. What could you hope to gain? Time. Oh, what a magnificent creature. So anyway, after murdering its maker, the monster escapes and goes on a killing rampage in the countryside. As good Frankenstein monsters do. Oh, what to do, what to do... That's right. Don't run away from the creature, run towards it. Later in the movie, Wimpy Charles puts the moves on Tanya, but she says she could only be happy with him if he inserted his brain inside the body of Thomas, the simple-minded but really hot stable boy. So practical, I swear. She just loves her hobby. Nevertheless, now things start to get a little complicated. Notice how Lady Frankenstein just stands there and watches. That's like me on my wedding night. Shouldn't this be more of a grr? All right, wait, yeah, get that prop back up. You don't want the furniture falling on you. Oh yeah, baby. More heaving, less acting.
Ah, oh, now she decides to act. Just not in time to save useless Charles. Ooh, shish kebab. Why'd you do that? <laughs> Look, Charles is up on his feet again. He came over all dead, but actually he was just fine. How convenient. Ah, their love you love replenished. You love me, me, me. I belong to you. Yes, Thomas. Ooh, the passion. Oh, wait, wait, what's this? As we all know from horror film history, the village people are an excitable, rage-controlled bunch who always come in at the end of the film, usually armed with pitchforks and torches. They are also a pretty decent 70s disco band. <sighs> well, nothing like a bit of senseless destruction to break up the monotony of village life, is there? Oh yeah, guys. Let's make out before we die. I guess that's a climax in, in every sense of the word. Oh, Tanya, you don't have to turn on the red lights. I'm so disappointed in her. But never mind, I still love her. You've got to. Anyway, now it's time for the moment of truth. Who was the greatest Frankenstein's daughter of all time? Sandra Knight from Lady Frankenstein. Narda Onyx from Jesse James Meets Frankenstein's Daughter, or Rosalba Neri from Lady Frankenstein. And the prestigious Igor Award for Best Frankenstein's Daughter goes to... Rosalba Neri! She's so hot. Yes, tell him. But tell him it was a robber. But there is Morgan's body. Rosalba couldn't be reached for comment. She got fed up with the film biz about 30 years ago, but I'm sure she would have thanked her mom, her dad, maybe Mary Shelley, her manager who got her this badass role. But now, boys and girls and strange alien creatures, I'm out of here and out of this world. But fellow cult film fans, you already knew that. <laughs>